What's going on guys? I'm here again with the HPS uh, drip car here. I got something in the mail. Just some simple rims guys. They're not, they are not rims. I bought drip tires. Uh, the rims I'm going to buy next time. Some sort of metal or something. So that will be in the future. I, and I wanted to tell you guys too, the body that comes with the brushless one is a little bit thicker too. It's different. It's not the same way this. It's like really thick. It kind of feels like uh, one of the Traxxas bodies. It feels pretty good. All right, so got this today. Never opened it. It's freshly sealed. You can see that. And uh, these are rims, of course. Like I said, let's get this opened up. All right. Okay. This is what I ordered. Let's see if that even comes in. All right, let's get these out of here. Throw that down. Oh wow, look at that, it looks pretty cool. I like that. For now, just simple rims I'm gonna put on, just to make it look a little better than the stock. Plus, I didn't really care for the ones that come with the tires. So, these actually look pretty good. Not too bad. They're not super tough or nothing, but they do look nice though. So I got the wrench. I figured we put one one of them on at least. So let me do so. I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, the rear off. I'm gonna go from there. All right. So I got that one on. Looks really good, guys. Looks really good. They're the exact same size. These look a little bigger, maybe a little bit. Actually, these were the ones that went on the brush, but I, I liked it all black. I don't know. I'm thinking about changing up all these stickers here and uh, changing this out to be something kind of different for this for this one at least. Um, I want to get rid of this and get rid of all the stickers. Leave it all dark the way it is. Uh, probably put morning star here morning star and then over here in the front it it could have a nice one saying fallen angel and then over here in the back it can have lucifer so it'll be like a like the devil's in there you know i don't know i thought about that i always wanted a car like that kind of Kind of satanic a little bit, but it would seem kind of cool. It's just, it's just for fun, you know, just to like say you got the devil under the hood, you know. So I don't know. I'm thinking about ordering up those stickers. I had to make them myself. All right, let's go ahead and take this one off. Okay, let me grab that there. Grab this little one. Come on. There we go. Okay. There we go. Not too tight. Oh, wow, that does look pretty good. I wonder how it's going to look with the body on it. Let's uh, switch these two. Might as well switch them all out. Okay, so let me grab these last two. They look a tiny bit smaller. Not a lot, but a little bit smaller. And I still have the... the I have some that have rims, I mean, actual um, tires. I actually had other drift cars too, guys, but I never showed them really on the channel because uh, one of them broke down fast. Bought it in a swap meet. So I just never done anything with it. But I have drift tires. I mean, actual rims with tires on them from uh, the other drift car that I had in the past.
but it was a bad trip car. The guy who sold it to me lied to me. When I took it home, things all messed up. And I mean, messed up. Dead servo, uh, binding gears, just everything that can be wrong with it was wrong with it. So I just, I have it just sitting. But I have some extra rims and stuff for it. I never use, so I guess I'll use them on this. Man, this thing's sliding around. Okay, I know that's out of you guys, but that's not what the video is about. It's not about how to put these on. All right, it's on there. All right. So let me go ahead and slide this body on. Another thing, guys, another thing I had problems with is that the body wasn't lining up right. It was coming too close to the back tire. So when the body, when the wheel well went on, it would be really close to the back end and what it was is they had these on backwards so if you unscrew this thing and you just turn it the opposite way it'll lean backwards if you turn it this way if you unscrew this and turn it back this way then it leans this way so one side leans this way one side leans that way and uh, you kind of like move them around to get it to where you want it to be so that the car fits nicely I'm gonna go ahead and put these back on I think I have one of them wrong. This one. Let me see here. Let me take this off. One, two, three, four, five. Right, that is right. I hope so. Okay, so let me turn this one this way. All right, that should be okay. Grab the body. Body's a little tricky sometimes to get on there. A little bit. Okay, come on. Yeah, I always have a hard time with the body. It's, it seems harder than it is, guys. Anyway. Once it gets on there, I mean, it, I had it on there easily. It's a little tough, but... Uh, oh, come on. It's just because it's new. So nothing ain't lined up yet properly. Come on, guy. Making me look dumb. All right, guys. So there it is. Check that out. That looks all right. See, the problem I was having is my body was right here next to the rim. And it's because they had those on the opposite way, so they were leaning forward. And when I unscrewed them and spin it around, and now they're leaning backwards, which pulled the body that way. So now it uh, it doesn't have to be all close to the wheel well, the tire all close to the wheel well, or to the fender, I mean. There it is, guys, it looks pretty good. Doesn't look too bad. Back. It's uh, turning on. Let's just see how. Well, I know they have their new rims, so all new rims take time to warm up. So they just don't automatically uh, drift properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this down here. Uh, I shouldn't be grabbing it from those things. So let's get this guy on. Just a little quick test run right here. Because I never did do anything. I'm going to do a separate video. We'll take it outside. I'll put the black rims back on. Take it out for a drifts session. Tear up those rims. Okay. And remember I told you guys you have to uh, put a little. There's a little needle hold there. There's two of them. One of them says bind. Just put the needle in there. Press the button. Hold set and turn this on. Hold set. When you turn it on, bind it up. All right. It looks good. It looks really good. I like that.
Let's see what it looks like drifting with the body on. All right, there it is with the body on. Yeah, so we'll do a video on this one guys. I told you like I said, we'll take it outside and uh, do the video outside. Tired of drifting inside here. That's it guys, that's what it looks like now. Spring out. I'm still gonna get some more rims. A little bit bigger uh, and a lot better. These are just for now, just so it doesn't look too stockish. So that's pretty much the end of this one guys. I will leave a link to these rims just in case you wanna purchase them and the RC cart as well. I'll put the brushed one, uh, brushed this a little pricey. So uh, put the brushed one in the description and thanks a lot for watching guys.